Kelly Graves. Today I'm going to share some information about a very specific disease that is present in the excretory system and this disease is called medullary sponge kidney or MSK. This condition affects women more than men and 1 in 5,000 Americans are diagnosed every year according to the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases. MSK is a congenital defect that changes the developing fetus tubules that are within the kidney. Tiny sacs called cysts form in the inner part of the kidney, known as the medulla, and create a sponge-like appearance, hence the name. These cysts block the tubules, which keeps waste from correctly exiting the body. This creates blood in the urine, kidney stones, and urinary tract infections, according to the Genetic and Rare Disease Information Center. Nephrologist Lisi Hechenova says that the kidneys are actually supposed to filter and cleanse the body's blood. Even if you were born with MSK, the previous symptoms that we discussed would not necessarily occur until you were in your 30s or 50s. My mother, April Graves, was diagnosed with MSK in 2000. How old were you when you were diagnosed with MSK? I was 29 years old. And so did you know that you were born with it? Absolutely not. Was there anybody in your family that had it? Nope. Really? I was the first person. Um, mostly a CAT scan or MRI, which is magnetic resonance imaging. And I had lots of trouble with kidney stones. That's kind of what made them think that I had medullary sponge kidney. Well, it actually impacted me in a big way because we were about ready to move overseas as missionaries to North Africa and I ended up having um, urine that looked like the color of Hawaiian punch. So I was like losing a lot of blood through my kidney. As we had sold our home, we were ready to move to North Africa and we were told that we were gonna have to move back home. So it affected me really in a really big way. I actually um, never really found out exactly what caused me to have this, it was obviously something that was just, I was born with. But the thing I did to treat myself is I, um, I limit my calcium because I lose calcium through my kidneys and, and then I just treat the symptoms with kidney stones. Mm -hmm. Well, at one time my sister, Amy Doss, even had said if I needed a kidney transplant that she would be happy to donate a kidney to me. But that's never been a problem for me. It's kind of um, evened out and corrected itself. I, I believe that my um, personal relation to this disease with, through my mother really helped me um, become more excited. So I hope that you learned a lot. Thank you so much.